What the heck is going on? How's everybody today? We are back with another Summoner's War Chronicle video. We're going to be talking about the update that is happening tonight. Now, thankfully, we don't have to go update it in the App Store or anything. It's just going to auto happen at reset. But there's a bunch of cool stuff, so let's get into it. So, uh, update notice. Um, so, greetings from Summoner's War Chronicle team. This week's update will take place without maintenance. Regular maintenance is scheduled for December 7th. So that's when our next big like update is coming. This week we are bringing you brand new outfits, rides, and more events. Please read below for more details about the update. So first it's talking about the new outfit and ride. Um, so these are lim limited time packages and individual components may be sold again in future or added as craftable items. Wear a handbox. Three handbox outfit packages will be released, so we're going to see them down below here. And it's telling you where they're available. Um, so here they are. So there's this little outfit here. This outfit. This outfit. There's one's the dopest one, I think, actually. Oh, I liked Kina the most. And then um, the Moon Bunny Ride. So they're selling like another mount. Um, so... It says movement speed fast here. All the rides are movement speed fast. The so faster the ones are the very fast ones. So oh. it's just the same speed as the free mount. So it's just like cosmetic, essentially. Yep. But it shows you where you can buy it, and it looks pretty dope, actually. I've been trying to get the bunny from the, uh, How to Make Friends event. Yeah, I've been trying to get it, too. Never get it. Now, <laughs> this is the exciting part. The new event that's happening. So the Sky Dancer Wish event. So it's going to be between the 1st and the 15th of December. Um, so it says event details, use rice cakes to get a bingo and help yourself to various rewards, including a five-star Sky Dancer win, Sky Stones, Rubber Mons, and more. So kind of just like the Abastet event we have going on right now and the uh, win. The, 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 the last bingo event, they just had one. Oh yeah, the sorry, like the it was the Vagabond one, right? Last uh... time? Yeah, it was like the Vagabond Bingo, and you got a Mystical Scroll when you completed the first board, and it looks like this time you're going to get Shasun. It was 10 Mystical Scrolls. Oh, it was 10? Okay. Yeah, and this time it looks like, yeah, you're getting Shasun, and it gave you like a bunch of crystals when you like cross them off. When you finished a row. Yeah, 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 I remember, I remember. So yeah, it's going to be like that event. Um, so Rice Cake can be obtained from Clock Rice Case event, so it's going to show you how to get them. Um, Bingo's final reward is the 5-star Sky Dancer, and it can only be obtained once. That's how the bingo was last time, though. You only got the 10 Mystical Scrolls one time. Yeah, Shasun's way better than 10 Mystical Scrolls. Damn right. <clears throat> Press the reset button to reset the bingo board. The bingo board rewards can be obtained repeatedly. So yeah, but you want to fill out the full board because the crystals. Uh, and then they're saying at the end of the event, so they're preparing a system that you can exchange remaining rice cakes for gold after the event. So like, it's going to cost you like X amount to... It costs like, seven, probably. Seven or whatever to clear it. So if you have, like, five left, you'll be able to exchange that for gold. So that's awesome. Um, so, and then this is the Collect Rice Cake event. So this is just how you get the points for the event above. Um, so it tells you here, Collect Rice Cake missions can be repeated during the event period by the Summoner Pass to get times two of growth and essence missions rewards. I have that. It's balling. Um, if you purchase the Arena Pass, you can earn twice the rewards for arena-related missions. And then it just says again about talking about the gold um, oh, after. Yep, so that's it. So here's all the information about the Sky Dancer. So we're going to go through her. She It shows all her skills and stuff below. Um, so Awakened name is Shasun. She was huge in the original Summoner's War, Sky Arena. When um, she first came out, she was so broken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was, she was nuts. I wasn't around when she first came out, but she was not even when I was playing. Um, so, okay, her first skill here. So, it's a really long cooldown and high mana cost, but um, we're going to read the skill and see why. So, it recovers the HP of allies within the area and applies attack up. Additionally, recovers HP of allies above a certain HP ratio. The recovery amount is based on its max HP. And then below here it says recover HP equal to 23.1% of max HP. And then it applies level 2 attack up for 10 seconds. 
And then this last one here is really awesome. It's like a stipulation. So if target's HP is 70% or above, recover equal to 30% of max HP. So this basically means that if when you use the skill, um, one of the one of your teammates has 70% HP, they'll automatically go to 100% HP. Yeah, if they're above 70, they're going to recover. Yeah, but everyone else is going to recover 23.1% of Shasun's max HP. Should get them to 70%. Should, which hopefully like procs that. Yeah. So, and then her next skill, Fallen Blossoms. So this one is uh, also a 36 second cooldown and also costs 5 mana. So applies continuous recovery to itself and equalizes the HP ratio of the team member with the lowest HP ratio and itself to the one with the highest HP ratio. So what this means is she's going to use the skill and she's instantly going to get um, continuous recovery buff on herself. And then it's going to take her and the person with the lowest HP and it's going to look at them both. And whoever has the highest HP, it's going to bring both of their HP bars highest pace HP percent. So let's say Shasun has 98% HP, she's almost full, and your lowest person has 10% HP. It's going to bring that 10% HP person up to 96% HP. No, 98, you said. 98, sorry. I'm bad at numbers. Should have just said 100. What a man yeah. here. <laughs> but it's fine. Y'all get what I mean. I didn't want to say 100 because, like, maybe you might not want to use it then. Because why would you want the continuous buff on her and stuff? But either way, I'm rambling. Pretty, pretty awesome skill. Um, and then it says here, so it's a level 1 continuous recovery for 10 seconds. And even HP ratio based on highest HP ally. Um, and then her uh, last skill here, her ultimate. So applies continuous recovery to nearby allies and equalizes the HP ratio of all the team members to the ally with the highest HP ratio. And it also applies level 2 continuous recovery for 10 seconds and even HP ratio based on highest HP allies. So this is very similar to this. But this one's like a one-to-one, -one, and then this one's the whole team. Yeah, so it's the exact same skill, just it would cover your whole team. So again, this this skill is when you use your ultimate on your summoner, and she's your link. So it can be a really, really, really good mass team heal. It should just put everyone to full. It should. It should. Someone so, on your team should be at full, and then everyone goes to full. So she's kind of like the ultimate heal support. That's for sure. So that's always how she was. Until we see the light one. Until, yeah, true. <laughs> true, 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 true. <laughs> um, so, and then the next event here, the little duck boat event. So this is just event details. Complete daily missions and get various rewards and special little duck boat ride. I think it's the same one that they were selling. I think they're giving that one away for free. I think that's what it looks like to me. Oof. So be cautious of those types of events. <laughs> yeah, baby, don't buy that shit. <laughs> Um, arena surprise roulette event. Okay, this is interesting. Okay, okay, I got questions about this. Questions. Read the event first and then your questions. Earn points according to Brawl Arena participation and results. Spin the wheel to get various rewards, including Sky Stones, Arena Coins, Mystical Scrolls, and more. And it says that it's going to take place between the 1st and the 8th. Okay? However, okay... Brawl Arena isn't supposed to open till the 8th. And actually, we don't even know technically if it's going to be Brawl Arena. It says new PvP content released on the 8th. So it seems like a preseason for Brawl Arena. So what me and Chetta speculate, we don't know, because this is confusing. We think that they're going to release it, the Brawl Arena a week early. And it's going to be like a preseason thing for Season 1. However, it could just be a typo. And this could be Challenge Arena participation. Maybe. But that seems very strange. Yes. So hopefully, like we think our first speculation is Brawl Arena is going to be open a week early. Which would be awesome. I hope it's open tomorrow. I'm so excited if it's open tomorrow. Yeah. We're really hoping it's open tomorrow. But we'll see for sure about this event tomorrow. So we don't want to speculate too much on this because we're not 100% sure what it means. Because we didn't think it was going to open until the 8th. But yeah, so that, that seems like it's going to be a really cool event. And then, so here are the events that are going on right now that are ending. So the Bastet event is ending. So I definitely recommend um, 
doing some runs of dungeons and stuff like that. Extra runs today if you're going to do them anyway. Um, and then there's a couple other events that are ending. And then the incoming guild request event one, that one's ending, but Chet is going to explain that one. It gives a double mod at the end. And you have to finish 20 guild requests. Uh, and you can do as many as you want a day. So even if you need all 18, just go ham on the C rank ones and get your free double mod. So yeah, so if you go, I'm going to just show this just to, just so, oops, just so everyone sees it anyway. So if I go here to guild request office, so, oh, oops, well, whatever, it doesn't matter. So there's, there's 20 missions available here all the time, but that means if someone has one out, then there's 19 available. Like if someone's doing one. You know I think what there I mean? might actually just be 20 there. I can't, I can't remember how that actually works. Either way, there's always like missions here. And then as people turn their missions in, new ones will, like, appear. And you can do as many as you want a day. So you get three rewards a day. So, like, you get this stuff here three times a day. But, however, if you look here, they want daily contribution here. It says you can get a 1,000 a day or, like, points a day. And it shows you how much each is worth. So even if you did three s rank missions... That only puts you at 360. And it says you can get a thousand. So like you can just do as many as you want. If you want to get max points, you have to do about 12 to 15 of these every day anyways. Yeah, me and Chetta have been doing relatively decent with that. So we... that Devilmon one, we both got ours the first day. Pretty I much. Think, I think I did 18 the first day and just got the Devilmon. Yeah, same. But so yeah, so you want to make sure you're doing these anyway for your alliance. And a lot of them are really easy. So make sure you're doing that. But anyway, so that is the update coming tonight. Hopefully, we'll all be playing Brawl Arena tomorrow, whooping each other's ass. That would be amazing. But we hope you guys enjoyed and learned something today. Be sure to hit that red subscribe button down below. Like and comment. Give us your feedback. Let us know what you're excited for. And we will catch you guys in the next one.